It's for the birds. Unraveling English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we've got a special treat for you. We're going to explore an intriguing idiom. It's for the birds. This phrase might sound a bit quirky at first, but by the end of this video, you'll understand its meaning, origins, and how to use it in your everyday conversations. So, let's spread our wings and dive into the world of English idioms. First things first, what does this peculiar phrase actually mean? When someone says, it's for the birds, they're not talking about bird feeding or bird watching. In fact, this idiom is used to describe something that is worthless, uninteresting, or of no value to the person speaking. It's a way of dismissing something as not worth considering. You might be wondering, how did such an expression come about? The phrase, it's for the birds, has its roots in the early to mid 20th century. It's believed to derive from the observation that birds tend to feed on horse droppings, which contain undigested seeds. Thus, something that is, for the birds, is considered as worthless or unimportant as these droppings, not fit for human interest or concern. Now, let's talk about how you can incorporate, it's for the birds, into your own conversations. This idiom is typically used in informal settings. Here are a few examples to give you a sense of how it's used. After sitting through a boring lecture, you might whisper to your friend, this lecture is really for the birds. If you read a book and find it completely uninteresting, you could say, honestly, that book was for the birds. Discussing a new policy at work that you find pointless, you might comment, this new policy is for the birds. Remember, while this idiom can add color to your language, it's also somewhat dismissive. So it's best used in contexts where it won't offend or belittle anyone. And there you have it, folks. Now you know all about the idiom, it's for the birds. We hope you found this exploration into English idioms both enlightening and entertaining. Using idioms like this one can add flavor to your language and help you sound more like a native speaker. But always remember the context and setting you're in when using them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting insights into the English language. Until next time, keep learning and keep having fun with English.